You're a man who loves cycling and you know you need eye protection. You're not sure where to start. You just start here. Stick around. Hello and welcome on my glass, Tyler. Today, I'm gonna to be going over our top picks for men's cycling sunglasses. What you're going to wanna look for is, of course, really good coverage, whether that means, uh, actually in this case, all of these are more wrapped, but a good wrapped lens is going to help give you really good protection from light no matter where the sun is at, but also it gives you unobstructed field of view. Very lightweight and comfortable, of course. I think one of the best things you can say about a pair of eyewear, really any kind of eyewear, is that you can put them on and just forget that they're there because they're supposed to perform for you. You shouldn't have to fuss with them. You shouldn't have to adjust them. You shouldn't have to think about them. You should be focusing on your ride. Grip is a good one because that's another kind of one of those elements where it stays on your face and it does so by grip to keep them in place all day long, even as you sweat, right? Because that's gonna happen. Uh, when it comes to lenses, I love contrast enhancement. I think that's amazing. Uh, so we're gonna get into that. And uh, I have some recommendations that I think you should check out. If at the end of this, you're ready to order, definitely don't forget about Sporter X. And certainly don't forget about our C Better Guarantee because with that, you're never stuck with something that you don't like or just doesn't work for you. If you get them and you realize that no matter how well I explain them, they just don't work for you when you have them on your own face, that's okay. You have as long as 45 days with them to figure that out, even if you get them in prescription and we will take care of you. Just reach out to us no matter what that means in our end. Also, we have opticians who are trained, certified, very friendly. You can always reach out to us and have us help you get it right the first time. Definitely use this as a resource. All right, let's talk about these frames. First off, we have a relatively new addition to Smith's collection called the Ruckus. If you are looking for a gigantic lens and you love the shield aesthetic, then this is gonna be the best one for you on this table. Really huge amount of view. It is a shield, so you're gonna get really the maximum sun protection as well as the widest field of view. A ton of lens real estate on this guy. More lens than frame, totally unobstructed vision, and very, very lightweight. One of my favorite things about this frame. With all that coverage and the top bar venting is gonna help to keep you fog free. The temples have Megal, that's their grip material, and it is going to grip better even as you sweat, and it fits seamlessly within the helmet. Very, very flexible frame material here, especially right there at the very temple tip. So they are gonna grip and hold onto your head, but be very, very comfortable. The Pivlock system, the Pivlock interchange system is very, very simple for lens swapping pretty uh, intuitive. You don't have to think much about it. So you can have multiple sets of lenses and just the one frame chassis. Amazing for really any kind of light conditions you may be dealing with. They do come with two chromopop lens shields, which is really cool. You have two lenses that come with the frame. Uh, unfortunately, they cannot be done in prescription. They don't have any kind of insert system for this, uh, and it's just not possible to put prescription lenses in this giant lens. When it comes to sizing, this has an SFW of 132 millimeters, which lands you at a medium fit. Next up, there is no way this wasn't going to be included. It is an eternal Rexy winner. I think it is the Oakley Flak 2.0 XL. Absolutely a Sporter X favorite for versatility and for its performance. You have again a semi rimless design here. This is very prescription ready and it has still that nice eight base frame curvature. It has interchangeable functionality so you can get multiple sets of lenses even in prescription and just have the one frame chassis. Straight back temples is gonna be really good with helmet compatibility. If you heard XL and you're thinking, oh, that's not for me because it means it's extra large. I don't have an extra large head. That is not what XL stands for. It stands for extended lens because the difference between the XL version and the non-XL version is just that lens shape and you have more lens in the XL version, both uh, in the lens height and in the lens width. You have, of course, with Oakley, their Prism Lens technology. One of my absolute favorite lenses for cycling is the Prism Road. And now they even have it in other varieties like Prism Road Jade. Uh, so definitely check those out and very much RXable even in those Prism Lens options. When it comes to sizing, this has an SFW of 135 millimeters, which lands you in that medium range. But I think this is probably the closest thing you're gonna get to a true one size fits most. 
This is a very forgiving frame in terms of fit and just an amazing frame across the board. Hey, if you're liking this content, but maybe you have additional questions about cycling sunglasses or perhaps you have prescription needs, be sure to reach out to one of our very friendly expert sporter accepticians because they're eagerly awaiting your call. And for even more cycling frame reviews, unboxings, and prescription cycling content, you can check out our videos and our blogs. We'll put a link in the description below. Next up, we have the Nike Show X3. This is a descendant of the Nike Show X2, which actually is still in existence, but this is just much more aggressive. It is a semi rimless frame with, of course, an eight base wrap. This contoured lens delivers a deeper and wider sun protection. It has a floating nose pad, which I always like to make people aware of because it's a really good concept and it can work really well, but it's a little less forgiving in terms of bridge uh, varieties out there. If you've ever had trouble with bridge fit before, keep that in mind when you're looking at this frame uh, because it is a little more rigid. There's a little less material. I love that it is a saddle style because it's nice. Saddle style bridges tend to be much more comfortable and uh, better grip actually as well because not only is there more surface area to disperse the weight of the frame, but more contact area to grip better. But again, this is not a terribly soft uh, grip material and uh, it, it is rigid, like I said. It is a little wider than the other frames utilizing this same bridge design. So it might be a little better on a wider range of bridge shapes and sizes, but just keep that in mind. Uh, the idea behind it is that it is floating, so it helps to absorb some impact. Also, it helps to promote airflow because it is vented, uh, and so it helps to minimize fogging. So it, it has its benefits for sure. It has a really good uh, design concept, just it isn't as forgiving in terms of fit. While talking about venting, there is a venting uh, design in the brow of this frame, which helps to encourage more airflow, again, to minimize the potential for fogging. There is grip on the temple as well, and the temple is adjustable, slightly adjustable, and just the very temple tip, just enough to give you a little bit extra customizability and comfort. This is also semi-rimless, so it is interchangeable, so you can have multiple sets of lenses. Uh, in Plano, in non-prescription, that is to say, it is available with Nike Max Optics, and in prescription, you can get this in prescription, even though that lens is gigantic, so it is a little more limited in terms of prescription ranges, that we can cater to, but our sport optimized lenses are amazing. When it comes to fit, this has an SFW of 135 millimeters, so it lands you at a men's medium. Next up, we have 100%. This is the Sport Coupe. I love 100%. They have so many great options. If you are interested in a shield design and the Ruckus didn't seem to be the quite the right fit, uh, there are other shield designs by 100% that are pretty great. But right now we're talking about the Sport Coupe. It's an amazing lens. It's an amazing frame. Uh, you have grip again in the temple tip uh, where it meets the top of your uh, your ear, but also on the inside of the temple. Uh, it has a pretty soft, kind of more of a, a, a saddle style bridge design in the nose pad. It does have some venting in that nose pad. I guess it depends on where it's sitting on your nose because you have to think that, yeah, it has these holes in the nose piece. However, if you're wearing it, uh, your nose would likely be covering those holes. But overall, this is a frame that does very well with fog resistance for sure. The frame material is a Grillamid TR90, so it's crazy lightweight uh, and also very impact resistant, also very durable. The interchangeable lens system is just as easy as all of these other ones. So again, you can have multiple sets of lenses. I'll just say that's all of them. All of these have interchangeable lens te uh, technology or, or system. I should have said that at the beginning instead of repeating myself over and over, but whatever. We're all here in this together. The Hydroilo lens treatment is gonna help to repel water, dust, and oil. That would be in the non-prescription variant. And if we're talking non-prescription, I have to talk to you about their HyperLens tech because that's very impressive. Their HyperLens tech is amazing, color boosting, contrast enhancing, really a cool lens tech for you to check out for sure, but not available in prescription. Again, in prescription, we can take care of you with our sport optimized lens options. This has an SFW of 136 millimeters, which lands you at a men's large. 
And last but not least, we have the Rudy Project right on another amazing straightforward frame for the sport. Really low profile. This has a mixed composite frame material, so it's metal temples. Very, very adjustable, by the way, temples uh, and a nylon frame front. So incredibly lightweight, but also very durable. This is a frame that I see last for years and years and years. So if you're the kind of person that just wants a, a workhorse and to last you a very long time, check out the ride on. I love the fully adjustable temples. I mentioned that just a moment ago, but I didn't talk about how fully adjustable they are. You can really move this thing anywhere that you need to. And when we're talking about adjustable things, probably my favorite thing on this frame and that no other frame on this table helps or has, uh, that would be the adjustable nose pad. The nose pad being fully adjustable and also fully replaceable in the event that it broke is incredible. I love adjustable nose pads. I talk about it all the time. Gives you a little more control, of course, comfort and fit, but it allows you to uh, move the nose pads a little bit on those extra hot days that you're gonna fog up a lot more. So you have more control over that fogging by adjusting the nose pads. Now that flying lens design also helps with minimizing fogging and maximizes coverage because you have a little bit of extra lens width there. Uh, and another smart design, and one thing that I love about that is they give you more lens width, but still without reducing the RX ability. Like I mentioned, a giant lens can minimize the range of prescriptions that this frame can handle, but because of that flying lens design, uh, they can just cut it a little bit smaller if they need to for a stronger prescription. And while we're talking about catering to stronger prescriptions, another thing that I love about the Ride On and uh, Rudy Project, I think just in general, is they care a lot about us prescription wearers, even strong prescription wearers. This does have the option. It is available with an RX dock system that can handle very extreme prescriptions. So if you love this design, you love the idea of semi-rimless, interchangeable, but you have a strong prescription, check out the Ride On because they probably are going to work well for you. When it comes to sizing, the SFW has 138 millimeters, which lands you at a men's large. This is also, by the way, available in a slim for uh, you smaller heads out there. So that wraps it up for our top pick in men's cycling sunglasses. I hope you found something here that you like and looks interesting to you. It is a great lineup. You cannot go wrong with any of these. Uh, at very least, I hope now you're more confident in what you are ready to order. And if you are ready to order, again, don't forget about our Sea Better Guarantee. I think it gives you a ton of peace of mind. If you are ready to shop any of these styles, stick around for just a moment longer because I will have a quick and easy to shop now button you can click. Uh, but again, if peace of mind is your thing, by the way, our opticians, I mentioned them like, 30 times in this video, but I think it's a good idea because they will give you all the peace of mind in the world with ordering something that we know will work for you. So reach out to us. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope this was interesting or valuable information to you. If so, throw us a like because that helps us out, you guys. You can check out relevant videos over here if you are ready to shop any of these amazing styles. Here's a quick and easy to shop now, click to shop now button. And also, if you're looking for other great content, I think you should check us out on our social media outlets. And easy to click here too. We have good stuff and I think you'll like it. Go, check it out, go. Oh wait, go. I'll see you there, go. Let's go. <laughs>